Racing for the King Stand in the centre, the red of Highfield Princess was very sharp into her stride. Twilight Gleaming and Cool and Gatter on the extreme left and prominent. Happy Romance and Bradsell in prominent positions. Cannonball is nearest the grandstand side, leading there to Dramatised. Vadrim is with this one as well. And half the best turned out, we're on the extreme right. Marshman and Mooniester just in behind the leaders to Desert Cop on the far side to Equilateral and Happy Romance and Rassel. Twilight Call is behind this existent towards the back of the field. Mip Bar, he is being ridden along at this stage as well. Two furlongs to go, Highfield Princess and Bradsell. Cool and Gatter, and with those as well on the far side is Twilight Gleaming. Cannonball leads the near side with Vadrim and Dramatised as now Bradsell. Holly Dawn has gone on. In second position is Highfield Princess, who's gaining though. Bradsell has the lead. Highfield Princess, the red and yellows are half left behind in second place. But Bradsell and Holly Dawn have won the King Stand. One or two of them a little restless, and they're off in the palace of Holyrood. Well up there in company with, or Canter Can, I should say, with Looking for Linda. Uh, Revenite is in the middle groove in company with uh, Wallbank and Conquistador and Kurdos following towards the near side on that group. Michaela's Boy is up there, two rocking ends. Prince of Pillow is next in the field. Tatterstall over on the far side with Clear Point and Pillow Talk. The big board is chased along. Wallbank is being asked for an effort. Also coming there with a chance is Radio Gugu as the field have got a furlong and a half left to go. Michaela's Boy, Radio Gugu, the near side. Kurdos is in the middle of the course, coming home strongly, and on the far side, Harry Brown and Haley Turner coming there, but it's Kurdos and Rhythm and Hooves is running on very strongly indeed to press Kurdos. It is Kurdos in front, Rhythm and Hooves though finishing very strongly under Holly Doyle. Rhythm and Hooves wins. And they're off, they race away for the Wokingham. Princess Shabnan towards the near side. Jean Le Pan began very well over on the far side. Tis Marvellous showing speed. Duca de Como the Grey is racing promptly over there as well. Kings Lynn chasing Tis Marvellous. Uh, prominent Kate Moss with uh, Chipstead 2 down the centre or more to the centre of that group is Apollo 1 followed by Mum's Tipple and then Dream Composer Mr Wagyu. Towards the back is Fresh in these early stages and Spangled Mac. Centre field group coming across a little bit. First Folio the Grey leading from Jean Le Pen and then behind those is Tab Deed with the White Blaze, Kanjar and Bielsa and they're checked by the favourite Orazio who's got a bit to do at the moment from Princess Shad Nan Summergand and Al Bashir is at the back of the field. They're tending to race middle to far side inside the final two furlongs. Apollo 1 has just come through to lead. Here's Mums Tipple with a chance under Frankie Dottori. Kings Lynn on the far side is rattling home. Down the centre is St. Lawrence from Jean Le Pen and Orazio trying to get there. These are the contenders. Apollo 1, St. Lawrence, Jean Le Pen racing up towards the line. St. Lawrence is doing best. It's St. Lawrence for the Wokingham. This time, and uh, they're off in the Dubai duty-free Shergar Cup stairs. Over the two miles, Throne Hall got a pretty good start. So too did Frankie on Zoffi over on the far side. And on the outside, there's no mad scramble for the early lead. Luke Morris and the Grand Vizier well to the fore. And also Berkshire Rocco and uh, Matthew Chadwick. But it's Throne Hall that has the advantage to in second position at the Grand Vizier. Zoffi is in third place and fourth early is at Berkshire Rocco. Two lengths then to the fifth place Pridwin and Declan McDonough in a red cap on the outside of Safi Osborne on the best turned out winner All Right Sunshine. Next in the field taking a bit of a keen hold is Law of the Sea and Zhao Marrera just in advance of East Asia and Hayley Turner and the back to post impression is Tom Marquand and last is Holly Doyle on the favourite The Very Man in no rush in last position as they come to the end of their first half mile in the stairs and it is Olivier Pellier leading on Throne Hall to in second position Luke Morris and the Grand Vizier the horse who was second in the Queen Alexandra at the Royal Meeting this year in third place this season's Chester Cup runner-up Zoffi Frankie well poised in third and being followed by Berkshire Rocco was second in the St Ledger three years ago racing in fourth place Berkshire Rocco all right, Sunshine is next. The Purple Cap stood on the inside of Pridwen. And then Law of the Sea still pulling towards the rear in company with East Asia. And Post Impressionist is second last. And the very man who went so close to winning at Galway is last of all under Holly Doyle.
Hawks. They continue on their journey down towards Swinley Bottom and at a big price, it's Thrown Hall that leads to the Grand Vizier in second place. Zoffi is still in third. Not much change in the play. None of those towards the back making a move yet as they reach the halfway point in our second race today. Thrown Hall to the Grand Vizier, Zoffi in third, and then Berkshire Rocco still in fourth, ahead of All Right Sunshine. Pridwen is next in the field, just closing up a little bit on the front two now. East Asia and Law of the Sea still side by side with two behind on the inside of the very man is Post Impressionist, but it is still Thrown Hall that has the advantage here. They now have less than three quarters of a mile to cover. Thrown Hall with the Grand Vizier within a length on the outside. The Europe team from Great Britain and Ireland and now the Grand Vizier just starting to threaten to engage Thrown Hall. Zoffi is still in third with Berkshire Rocco on the outside of that. There's then a length and a half to All Right Sunshine and Pridwen, followed by Law of the Sea, East Asia, the very man and post-impressionist Holly Doyle alongside Tom Marquand at the back as they now come inside their final four furlongs here and about to turn for home. So Thrown Hall and the Grand Vizier, they've had things their own way in front. Zoffi is now getting a squeeze from Frankie who removes a set of goggles for a, a clear view of what's ahead as they turn for home inside the three. Mark Scirocco driven in fourth, then all right, Sunshine. The Grand Vizier on the outside of Throne Hall. Zoffi with a huge chance in third place. Then Mark Scirocco. Pridwen trying to stay on from the back and down the outside. Holly Dahl and the very man making very solid ground. They have a furlong and a half to go. And it is the Grand Vizier. Here comes the very man on the outside. Mark Scirocco is rallying. Zoffi hasn't picked up, but the very man has taken over from last to first. They now have half a furlong to go, and it's Holly Doyle and the very man in front, striding clear of Bach Scirocco in second. The Grand Vizier is in third, but it's the very man in the stairs. And uh, they're off. Off and racing in the Classic over a mile and a half. A good break was uh, made by Like a Tiger, just sitting in behind in the early stages. French invasion. And... And coming into a handy position as well is Regal Empire, the grey cap under Holly Doll. They're followed by the Philly Satin, a red cap Declan McDonough alongside Kazuo Yokoyama on Sovereign Spirit. Safi Osborne, the purple hat like a tiger, is next in the field. And the two at the back are Struth and Golden Move. As the field continue, they've completed three furlongs. And the lead is with French Invasion. French Invasion in front under Tom Marquand. Two, Holly Doyle in second on Regal Empire in Tins. Luke Morris on the outside of uh, Satin and they are then being followed by Golden Maverick and then on the outside of the field Haley Turner on Rajasthan and on the inside of that one Golden Maverick looking for a four-timer, but now driven by Thor Hammer Hansen. Struth and Matthew Chadwick not making a move yet in company with Golden Move, Olivier Pellier held up at the back. And in last place is Sovereign Spirit, the best turned out winner. So they've got three and a half furlongs left to go. And it's Tom Marquand from Holly Doyle at the moment, as it is French Invasion just to Regal Empire in second place. In Tinzo with a chance on the outside of Satin. Then Rajasthan like a tiger and Golden Maverick still rousted along. French Invasion trying to kick away from Regal Empire in Tinzo, making it a line of three on the outside, two furlongs left to go. French Invasion and Regal Empire chased hard by in Tinzo. Satin is in fourth place, then Golden Maverick, Struth down the outside in company with Sovereign Spirit, the rest of the world closing in. In Tinzo and Regal Empire, the first two, just about half a furlong to go. Struth is still gaining. In Tinzo, the grey, the far side, Regal Empire, the near side, Struth and Matthew Chadwick, three in a line here, Regal Empire on the inside, Holly Doyle has ridden her second.